Hai, Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera to all of you. So, we will continue uh, with the chapter 6 about alternating current. So, in this chapter, there are four subtopics which is a 6.1 alternating current. 6.2 is about root mean square. 6.3 resistance, reactant and impedance. And the last one is 6.4 power and power factor. Okay. The next slide is about the learning outcome of the 6.1 which is define alternating current and the second sketch and interpret sinusoidal AC waveform. Alternating current is a defined as the electrical current which varies radically with time in magnitude and direction. It means alternating current is an electrical current which radically reverses direction and change in magnitude continuously with time in contrast to the direct current which is flow only in one direction okay the symbol of the alternating current is like this one. This is the symbol of the alternating current which is like a wave and then the wave in a circle. Okay. This is a symbol of the AC source. Okay. The next slide show uh, is about sinusoidal AC waveform. Okay, the slide show about the graph, the current versus time graph. The output of an AC generator is sinusoidal and varies with time. The shape of the graph is sinusoidal shape. So, this is a pattern or we call it as the sinusoidal shape. The graph is represented by the equation I equal to I naught sine omega t. I is the instantaneous current. I know is the maximum current. Omega is the angular frequency. And T is the period. So the next slide is about the voltage versus time graph. Okay, it is also the sinusoidal graph. The graph is represented by the equation V equal to V naught sine omega t, which is a V is the instantaneous voltage. V naught is the uh, maximum voltage omega is the angular frequency and t is the period okay this there are some terminology in alternating current that commonly used 
or frequently used in the alternating current. which it is a frequency <coughs> the symbol of the frequency is the little f frequency is defined as the number of complete cycle in one second okay the complete cycle in one second okay. and the unit for the frequency is a hertz or s power of negative 1 or per second okay we have the period the capital T as the symbol then the period is defined as the time taken for one complete cycle the unit of the period is second and the symbol is letter S we have the equation of the period which is T capital T equal to the 1 divided by frequency and then we can arrange rearrange back the equation for the frequency which is f equal to 1 over period okay and then we have the angular frequency the symbol of the angular frequency is the omega like a w the unit for the angular frequency is a radian per second or red as power of negative 1 okay. for angular frequency we have the equation omega equal to 2 pi f okay we have the peak maximum current or the symbol is i naught okay it's a defined the magnitude of the maximum current and the peak maximum voltage or the symbol v naught is a defined at the magnitude of the maximum voltage okay now we will continue with the second subtopic subtopic okay the learning outcome for this subtopic is a defined root mean square current and voltage for AC source root mean square current or IRMS is defined as the effective value of alternating current which produces the same power mean or average power as produced by the steady direct current DC when the current passes through the same resistor from this statement we know the power of DC current equal to the power of the AC current. Okay, we know the formula of the power is the current squared stamp with the resistor. So we substitute into the equation of the power. So we will get current power of 2 stamp with R for the DC equal to the current power of 2 stamp with R for the AC and then current DC equal to the square root of the current power of 2 for the AC and it is known as the current RMS or root mean square current root mean square current is equal to the i naught divided by square root of 2 i naught is the maximum current okay root mean square voltage or vrms is a defined as the e the effective value of the alternating voltage which produce the same power mean or average power as produced by the direct voltage when the voltage pass through the same resistor so in this statement it's about the power of DC equal to the power of AC 
So we know the formula of the power relationship to the voltage is the V squared over R. So we substitute the equation of the power into the power DC equal to power AC. So we'll, we'll get voltage power of 2 for the DC divided by R equal to the voltage power of 2 for the alternative current divided by R. And then we have the uh, direct current voltage equal to the square root of the voltage power of 2 by the AC and it is known as the root mean square voltage and then the equation for the root mean square voltage is the v naught divided by square root of 2 v naught it is the maximum voltage